Today, we're looking at a very cool watch from Boulder. Boulder is one of only a handful of companies I will review without hesitation, and I have no pause when recommending them. I think they do a great job. The Boulder style for sure is not for everyone, but if you like their style, they offer fantastic build quality, usually titanium cases, and most of all, unique designs. I believe this is maybe the fifth you have seen me review on the channel, and the third in the Venture line which this watch falls into. This particular model, to quote Boulder, was inspired by the brave and selfless healthcare community on the front lines of COVID-19. This special edition Venture is a medic-friendly chronograph watch, can be used to measure pulse rates and respiratory counts. Now, this is a first for me. I have reviewed watches with pulsation scale, but never respiratory counts on them. And I'm not even going to pretend to understand how either would work in a real life scenario. But for that, I posted on the Casual Watch Talk Facebook group to find out what a real medic thinks hang around till the end of this upload or go to this time code. When you receive the watch, you're greeted with a fairly plain cardboard box. Inside, however, is a very cool Pelican style box. Opening it up, we have the watch and the instructions. You could argue this box is a bit overkill for a watch, but it's a nice touch and you do feel like a spy on a secret mission when opening the case. Now the foam is glued in, which is a shame because if you could get it out, you could use this same case to keep multiple watches in or even this watch and a few other straps. Now this is an improvement over one of their earlier GMT watches as once you got that attached to the strap you could never really get it back in its Pelican box again. So let's start by looking at those all important stats of the watch. The Boulder Venture Medic Field utilizes a super light 38 millimeter titanium case with a lug to lug of 44 millimeters and a lug width of 20 millimeters. It features a beautiful flat sapphire crystal that really adds to the durability. You will not be afraid of knocking this watch about at all. Boulder really do a fantastic job of their titanium cases. The machining is impeccable and they all feature drilled lugs. Here the case is very geometric. This fits right in with the other venture watches in the line. The fixed bezel really draws your eye to the dial. The highlight of the case is how well the chronograph pushes and crown are executed. The crown is industrial looking with an excellent grip. This watch looks like what it is, a tool watch. The titanium case is also very light, so you hardly notice the watch on the wrist. As if to subtly show off even more, Boulder have gone to the extent of having all the hardware on the NATO also in titanium. The back of the case looks really cool with a medic symbol etched into the back with the B Boulder logo becoming part of a heartbeat. A nice additional detail. After reviewing a few of these Boulder watches and Citizen titanium cases, I'm at a loss as to why it's such a fanfare when main brands like Omega release a titanium case watch Boulder and Citizen do a great job of their titanium cases. The watch is powered by the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz chronograph movement. This has become a darling of the micro brands and honestly I don't like it at all. It's overused and overrated. My main grumble with this movement is it has no running seconds. The watches featuring this movement look completely still when the chronograph seconds is not engaged. I like to see movement on a watch Watch dial. There is a Mecha Quartz with running second, but it's almost lost under the tsunami of VK64 watches. Having said that, and you can hold me to this if I ever mention this about another watch with this movement. I think this Medic watch for me may be the only acceptable use of the Mecha Quartz VK64 Quartz movement. As this watch's primary use is to measure vital signs, then the fact that the chrono hand is the only hand that moves, added to the multiple beats per second of the Mecha Quartz, this could actually be a big advantage that this is the only hand that moves on the watch. For 
For both medical scales, your primary focus is that second hand, as the other dials don't move until you complete a revolution of the second hand. As you're likely to stop measuring these vital signs by the time the second hand hits the equivalent of the 45 second mark, then your measurement will be done before the second hand revolves around the dial and the other chronograph hands move. So the rest of the watches featuring the VK64 have no excuse. And what's with that 24 hour dial? If you can't tell it's 8 a.m. or 8 p.m., you may need to open a window. I have seen other watches marketing the 24 hour dial is great for telling military time. I'm sure anyone who uses military time knows that eight is 20 if it's dark outside. If you can remember all 24 words in the phonetic alphabet, like all military personnel can, you can easily tell military time on a normal watch. That dial to me is Uniform Sierra Echo Lima Echo Sierra Sierra. Okay, enough about the movement except to say it's quartz, so it's going to be very accurate and easy to own. Let's look at the dial itself. The dial does look cool. It has a lot of data on it, but it's not overly busy. The black they have used is completely matte. I don't think this is easy to tell from the website at all. It gives a great depth to the dial. There is no grain to the dial. When I first saw it, I thought it may have been painted with Vanta black. It's the blackest, mattest dial I've ever seen on a watch. This makes the printing on the dial really pop out which is actually a good thing as the loom unfortunately on the text parts of the dial is not that strong. The hands pop out no problem but the text is also loomed. I struggle to capture it. The white dial may be the one to go for if you really need loom as the entire dial is loomed but the picture of this one is definitely a slight exaggeration on their website to be honest of the loom. The scales are designed to exactly count off heartbeat and respiration rates within a few seconds. This apparently saves valuable times compared to the traditional way. Pulse rates per second are generally counted in either 15 or 30 second windows. This watch uses a 30 second count so you count to 30 beats and then you can check the heart rate. So is it useful for a medic? Well, I phoned a friend, Luke, who is a member of our Casual Watch Talk. Facebook group. Hey Luke, thanks for uh, joining me. No problem. Yeah, so I'm an emergency nurse practitioner and I work in a, a large emergency department in Brisbane, Australia. I see patients presenting to the emergency department with all sorts of medical problems and obviously timekeeping is an important part of my daily uh, practice. Being a watch enthusiast, always got my watch on hand but often have to take it off for hygiene purposes yeah you've seen this boulder watch that i've been reviewing now and it's got both yeah. the pulsation scale on and then the respiration scale do you find these features useful on a watch i've seen them on plenty of different watches mainly on the on the zin for example the ezm12 which is specifically designed for uh, trauma providers who have time critical kpis they need to sort of monitor in principle, the application may be useful, but I think the execution, the way it's designed and on the timepiece is probably paramount really for it to be of any use. Personally, I just generally have my watch in the palm of my hand and just count seconds. I wait for the, the minute 10 to get around either to 12 or to sort of 15 and then count the pulse for 30 seconds and then times it by two or 15 seconds and times it by four. It's as easy to do it on a standard watch with a second hand. The idea, I guess, using the chrono, just it's always there at 12 o'clock and just depressing the button, it would enable that just as easily, I suppose. But I actually looked at this piece, I guess the application is sort of, like I said, it's always sort of been appealing to me. I think that the idea would work just as easily. Obviously, I haven't seen it in the metal, so I can't say how legible it actually is. You need to be able to glance quickly and just get the information. The watch comes on a NATO strap. Would that be less hygienic? That's a good point. A lot of places, a lot of emergency departments and hospitals have that a bare below the elbow policy for infection control. Wearing the watch at work, just wear it and then take it off before 
I go and see a patient and normally you could wear like a bracelet or a rubber strap that's not as porous. So it's not going to colonize any bacteria. But I found that the easiest thing for me to do, I normally wear like a Erica's Marine National. I think the NATO strap, uh, you know, this porous material will be something that is not a great, great option. Really appreciate you joining me on the review. Yeah. Thanks for that. That's okay. No problem. So in summary, a great little chronograph, nicely proportioned. Here you can see it on my 7.2 inch wrist, very light due to the combination of quartz movement and titanium. And for $299, I think you're getting a very good watch for the money. Thanks for watching and see you next time.